everyone and welcome to our daily devotions for today, Friday the 26th of February. We begin our time together as always with our opening prayer, this time a prayer of confession based on the pardon of God. Let's pray together. Merciful God, we have failed you again in so much, in the things we have done and the things we have not done our faith weak, our discipleship hesitant, our commitment poor, and yet still you accept us. For your unfailing pardon, receive our thanks. We have not worshipped you as we should, or served you as you desire, or obey you as you command, and yet you still care. For your unfailing pardon, receive our thanks. We have created you in our image, forsaking you for our own interests, losing sight of your kingdom, and yet we still have a place in your purpose. For your unfailing pardon, receive our thanks. We have not loved you with heart and soul and mind, we have not loved our brothers and sisters in Christ. We have not loved our neighbours as ourselves. And yet you still love us. For your unfailing pardon, receive our thanks. We have failed to take up our cross to follow Christ. We have denied your spirit freedom to move within us. We have sinned against you and others in thought and word and deed. And yet, you still call us your children. For your unfailing pardon, receive our thanks. Merciful God, forgive us, cleanse us, restore and renew us. Assure us once more of your forgiveness, for we are truly sorry. And send us out in newness of life, to live and to work to your glory. For your unfailing pardon, receive our thanks, in the name of Christ. Amen. Isaiah chapter 60 Who are these that fly along like clouds, like doves to their nests? Surely the islands look to me. In the lead are the ships of Tarshish, bringing your children from afar, with their silver and gold, to the honour of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for he has endowed you with splendour. Foreigners will rebuild your walls, and their kings will serve you. Though in anger I struck you, in favour I will show you compassion. Your gates will always stand open, they will never be shut, day or night, so that people may bring you the wealth of their nations, their kings led in triumphal procession. For the nation or kingdom that will not serve you will perish. It will be utterly ruined. The glory of Lebanon will come to you, the juniper, the fir, and the cypress together to adorn my sanctuary, and I will glorify the place for my feet. The children of your oppressors will come bowing before you. All who despise you will bow down at your feet and will call you the city of the Lord, Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Although you have been forsaken and hated, with no one traveling through, I will make you the everlasting pride and the joy of all generations. You will drink the milk of nations and be nursed at royal breasts. Then you will know that I, the Lord, am your Saviour, your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. We reflect on the final words of our reading from Isaiah. Then you will know that I, the Lord, am your Saviour, your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. As we sing together, Jesus is Lord. 
Psalm 91 Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely He will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. You will not fear the terror of the night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that stalks in the darkness, nor the plague that destroys at midday. A thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you. You will only observe with your eyes and see the punishment of the wicked. If you say, The Lord is my refuge, and you make the Most High your dwelling, no harm will overtake you, no disaster will come near your tent. For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. They will lift you up in their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. You will tread on the lion and the cobra. You will trample the great lion and the serpent. Because he loves me, says the Lord, I will rescue him. I will protect him, for he acknowledges my name. He will call on me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. We come now to our closing prayer for today. Let's pray together. Lord, you have given us a multitude of gifts and opportunities. Forgive us that we sometimes fail 
to use them. We don't think of ourselves as lazy, but time and again we avoid the tasks which we ought to tackle at a cost ultimately to ourselves, to others, and even to you. So many possibilities are wasted and so much peace of mind is lost because we prefer to put off till tomorrow what we really ought to do today. Teach us to make the most of each moment, to use our talents to the full and to tackle every task as it comes for both our sake and for yours. Amen.